Mantic is about 15 years old. Halo as an IP has been on my radar for a very, very long time. Getting the license was a journey of love because it was about seven years from the first conversation to getting the phone call saying we were doing it. The moment we got it, I thought what was so exciting was that we were in a brilliant place. We've done real tier one comic licenses. Now we were able to do a triple A video game license. I knew we had the mechanics. I knew we had the infrastructure. I knew we had the sculptors and all those things need to be perfect to do the game that, that this IP merits. In Halo, you, you fire up your Xbox, you load in the game, and you're straight into the game. And we're trying to replicate that with the tabletop edition. You open that box, you slot together the terrain, the miniatures are already built and ready to go, and you can get straight in and be able to play that game from day one. We're putting you as a new Spartan 4 into the Avery Johnson Military Academy, where you're gonna learn how to move like a Spartan and shoot like a Spartan and learn how to fight as a fire team together and then we're going to develop you from there. Next we'll start outfitting you with new armour, we'll equip you with new weapons. Then you've been spotted for your leadership potential and we'll show you how to go and build your own fire team. In the games I've demoed and in the games that I've played, the thing that keeps coming over is how much it feels like Halo. It's very contained, it very feels very arena-like, you have that, that claustrophobic feel. It's very zoomed in, so you're getting right down to look at, look at the models, what they can see, what they can shoot. Very intuitive, cube-based system, so there's no tape measures or anything like that. So you're, you're getting there, you're rolling dice, you're straight into the action. Things like the respawns, things like the way you're throwing in grenades, picking up weapons, moving around with the speed, it almost seems instinctive too, well, I just want to get there and I want to hide behind that piece of scenery and I want to take a shot at that one. It comes across really fast. The things that you see on screen and that, and that you're interacting with, we've captured those details in, in the tabletop as well. Dave is our sculpt manager. He's working with uh, Luigi, who's our main, main sculptor. The two of them have been taking assets from, from 343. Dave's a massive Halo fan, so he, he knows what, uh, what he's doing there and what he's looking out for. Duncan on the graphics side, pouring over existing uh, Halo material, what does Halo look like, how does it feel, and translating that onto the pages, into the rulebook, into the cards. So it feels like once you've, once you've come away from playing a game, yeah, that was Halo. It's a really easy entry point if you've never played a tabletop game before. If you are an experienced gamer, there's some really deep gameplay there. And from a hobbyist side, you can absolutely go to town on painting those miniatures. We see now through Halo all the different armors, all the different colors, all the different upgrades, painting them however you want. And then from a terrain perspective as well, we also provide plastic terrain, build it up in multiple ways to make lots of different maps. And different maps and different layouts keeps the game interesting on top of all of the different game modes as well. What's so exciting for us is we've, we've sat with the franchise team and we have a couple of years worth of releases planned out. Absolutely rest assured, the Banished are coming. We're so excited about where this is going to go and how we can support it over the months and years ahead.